Hey everyone, it's Anna. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. Tonight I'm going to be sharing um, part of my Whippersnapper fall winter release with you. I'm going to break this video into a couple different uh, videos uh, just because I don't want it to be a super long video. So I'll probably break it down into um, some different themes. So I think I'll start with... <clears throat> Um, we, d we did a really fun um, theme for golfing, which I've never done before, and so this was really exciting. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned it on this channel be before, but um, earlier this summer, I actually got a golf cart and um, use it for running um, little farm errands. So like I take feed down to the chicken coop, and I take hay down to the barn, and just ride around on it to check the garden and do my afternoon chores. And it's just super fun to have. I can buzz around the neighborhood on our little road, dirt roads, and um, it's fun. I can zip on down to the neighbors, whatever. So it's really, really fun. And um, Lisa at Whippersnapper asked if I would do a golf cart with chickens in it. And I thought, well, how perfect is that? Because not only is it, you know, my new golf cart in theme, but chickens as well. So here we are. Here we have chicken golf cart. And I just think it's hysterical. I love how this image turned out. So we've got four hens there, or it could be some roosters, who knows, um, just living it up on the green there. So I think it turned out so cute. And I was happy to have that request. So I also did this cute little image here, which is called golf necessities. And it's just that cute little shirt, some shoes, um, golf clubs, uh, tees, and a ball. I love that one. And then this is called Golf Toss. And it's those similar items from this previous image, uh, but just tossed around kind of in a sporadic um, type of way. And I love doing little tossed images like this. And here's that size of that stamp. So it's quite a bit larger than the image on the front. I'll show you the back of the, the stamps of these as well. There's that one. And then here's the uh, chicken golf cart. So cute, right? I love it. Then I did some um, sentiments as well under the golf theme. <clears throat> I love a good pun. So this was super fun to do for this release, um, for this theme. So hope you get to party on your birthday. <laughs> Have a terrific day. I just think these are so fun. I love it. I don't even golf and I think they're fun. Life is better at tea time. Fun, fun. A little something for you. <laughs> Love it. And may the course be with you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. So um, I think those are really great. And um, like I said, I love a good pun. So this was a really fun theme for me. Um, I also did a small uh, fishing theme. Uh, with this release. So I'll go ahead and show you those. So there's this one here. It's called Boating Buddies. And this is actually sim similar to a design that I did for a t-shirt here um, to raise money for our local uh, volunteer fire department. So I was happy to be able to use something similar to that design for a stamp. And that's what that looks like on the back side. Um, these stamps are red rubber and they are mounted on cling foam. And this is what it looks like when you purchase the option of cling foam with a package insert. This is what the stamps look like. Um, so then there's this one called Lure It In. Just a few different fishing lures and a hook on some line. So I think that's really fun as well. Then there's this one called Fishing Toss. And again, similar to the Golf Toss, this one uh, is just a bunch of those uh, images tossed about kind of in a random fashion. So I love this kind of stamp. I think it's really versatile. You could use this as like the center focal point stamped image and color it all up. And then you could stamp it like a tone on tone in the background. Um, I just love these images. You can turn it each different way and you can make like a grid. You know, each way you turn it is a different looking um, stamp. So I just love them. I think they're fun to use. The sentiments that go with the fishing theme is life is better on the lake. That's a really good size. Dropping you a line. May the water wash your worries away. 
and a day spent fishing is a good day. So I really like the font. So that's the fishing theme. Uh, so super fun. Love those. And I think I will do, um, uh, we did some florals. Um, I'll go ahead and share those with you. It's probably the next smallest uh, bunch of images. So we did uh, release some floral images for fall. Um, they can work into spring as well or summer, but we wanted to put them out with fall just because I think they're pretty uh, flowers and um, you can really color them nicely in fall colors. Um, but one of the images actually has a chicken in it, or two, two chickens actually. So there's Chicken Angel. Isn't she adorable? I love her. So I did uh, You'll Always Be be a Spring Chick at Heart. So that would be a good one for uh, <clears throat> summer and spring as well. And then Heard You've Been Cooped Up, Feel Better Soon. And then Happy Cluckin' Birthday. <laughs> So just kind of fun images there, or sentiments there. Um, so the rest of the floral images look like this. This is a patio florals. Um, and it's just a bunch of flowers and a flag in an old wash tub, which you can see there. And actually this was drawn after a photograph that I took here at the house. So that's kind of fun. Uh, clematis. I'll show you the back of this one as well. So here's the clematis. These uh, floral cubes or squares, they're uh, three by three stamps. So, and they're really, they stamp really beautifully. And it's good to have the color insert so you can use it for reference. You know, because sometimes if you look at this line art, you wouldn't really know um, necessarily what might be the yellow uh, portions of the flower, but if you have the color insert, then it's really easy to tell. Of course, you could also reference other clematis photos. This one is called Snapdragon. And this um, also was, um, in fact, all these floral images were um, drawn with inspiration from photographs that I took with flowers that I've grown. So there's the snapdragons. This one is called Bee and Daisy. So I love this one, really cute. Then I have a single Rudbeckia. So again, this is a three by three. So this is gonna be so beautiful. Um, embossed on watercolor paper and then just let um, various different dyes bleed into those petals. That's gonna be really beautiful. And then this one here is called Opal Dahlia. And I really love this flower. That's what that one looks like. So pretty neat. Um, so I hope you enjoyed. Please check out the uh, Whippersnapper website. I will leave a link to it below, but it's also down here at the end of the packaging, uh, whippersnapperdesigns.com. You can go to the rubber stamp category and choose the uh, 2021 fall winter release uh, collection um, tile from their website and it'll take you to all of these images and more. There's lots of more available as well. Um, I'm going to end the video now and then I'll come back and do a second video that will share the uh, Christmas images as well as the coffee cup themed images. So thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed and take care. Bye!